Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is 6th lecture of this dynamic programming course part 2. And as explained in the previous lecture, I have divided the whole DP or uh, DGDP the problem that DGDP problem we are discussing into three phases and this is phase 1. So the lecture goal or phase 1 goal is to design or uh, get some function which will return digit sum of all number having maximum n digits in their decimal representation. So get sum 3 means digit sum it will return the digit sum of all the number from 1 to 999 so how will we do that of course as explained this is going to be a short lecture because all we have to do is design a recursive function so if you want to generate all of uh, all of numbers if you want to find the digit sum of all of the numbers which are having at max n digit and two digit to be specific in this case then what you can do you can uh, you can consider it as uh, an array of size 2 and then fill the first position with all of the digits possible I am explaining this for base 3 numbers when you are working with base 3 numbers you have three digits available 0 1 and 2 like with base 10 or octal where in base 10 we have 10 digits from 0 to 9 and in octal we have 8 digits from 0 to 7 similarly for base 3 we are having three different digits from 0 to 2 now you want if you want uh, i'm working with base 3 because i do not have enough uh, enough space to explain you uh, de with decimal number system so that is why that is the only reason i'm going with base 3 numbers it hardly uh, it hardly matters so it doesn't matter whether I'm explaining with base 3 or base 10 doesn't matter now if I want to generate all of the uh, all basically if I want to find the digit sum of all of the numbers having at max two decimal uh, two digits in their representation be it base 3 or base 10 doesn't matter then what you can do you can take uh, an array of size 2 and fill the first place with all possible digits and then fill the second place with all possible digits so see if you fill the first place with all possible digits this is what you are going to get 0 1 and 2 right and this is basically one digit number now take this as prefix and append 0 1 and 2 again then this will generate your two digit number again uh, append uh, 0 1 and 2 with this prefix and the resultant will be two digit number similarly for this these number are actually one digit number and these are two digit number similarly if you take these as prefix and again append 0 1 and 2 to each of these prefix this will generate all of the numbers which are having one two and three uh, digits in their uh, respective representation be it by uh, three uh, base three representation or base ten representation doesn't matter so basically if you want to find the digit sum of all of the number which are having at max n digit that means we have to fill n places with all of the available digits to uh, so if i show you the code for digit sum what digit sum get some function will look like it will take three parameters first will be the position you want to fill of course uh, we will be taking n as input and n will represent the n digit number at max n digit number up to up to which we want the digit sum so pos will represent the position you want to fill n will represent n is of course the n uh, n is the maximum number of digit we want and sum is the uh, digit sum of the number of the current number so what is happening here from main function you are passing one because we have to start filling from first position and then n is the maximum num uh, maximum digit we, we will go to and zero is the current sum so current current sum of the number so basically when you fill the current position with zero the current sum will become one and if you fill the second position with one then the current sum current digit sum will become zero plus one that is one and if I show you what will be the digit sum of 2, how it is derived. If you are filling the first position with, with 1, so the sum will become 1 because the current place it is filled with 1. The second place you fill with 0, so 1 plus 0, uh, 0 will be added in current sum, so current sum will remain 1. And then you add 2 in the current sum, so digit sum of this number will become 3. So this sum actually represents the current digit sum of the number. 
so one by one we will be filling all of the n places uh, current place if position is greater than n which means you have filled all of the n positions and this represents the digit sum of a n digit number now you can directly return this sum otherwise we will fill the current position because uh, the position is less than or equals to n so this place must be filled with one of the digits so we have 10 different options we can fill the current place with any digit from 0 to 9 if you are filling the current with a digit uh, if you are filling the current place with digit i then the current sum will increment by i of course right and then for each different digit will fill the current place with each different digit and evaluate the get sum function and finally return the sum so this way we are able to generate the uh, we are able to get the digit sum of all numbers having at max n digits so if i show you if i run the code and explain you to that as you can see i am having two different codes one is for digit sum which is for this for the recursive function and this is simply digit sum which will rip, uh, which is brute force approach so this is going to be accurate this is ac actually this will take input like 9 and it would return the digit sum of all the number from 1 to 9 so from 1 to 9 the digit sum is going to be uh, 45 so this is the brute force approach and this is going to be right because this is a brute force approach and now this is the function that we have wrote now these many queries first i want to find the digit sum of all number having at max one digit so basically i want to find the digit sum of all number from one to nine and as this explained as this shows then that all uh, the digit sum of all the number from one to nine is equals to 45 so let's test it we are getting 45 which means currently we are working fine now this shows that i want to find the digit sum of all numbers having at max two digits in their binary uh, in their decimal represent uh, representation which means uh, this will return the digit sum of all number from 1 to 99 1 to 99 and as you can see it is 9 uh, 900 so is it even true let's test it with brute force approach so i want digit sum from 1 to 99 so basically i will be passing 99 and as you can see the digit sum of all number from 1 to 99 is equals to 900 which is true now let's see what will be the digit sum of all the number from 1 to 999 basically uh, at max three digit numbers so the result is 13500 let's test the recursive code that we have written is correct or not so i want the digit sum of all number having at max three digits in their decimal representation and answer is as you can see 13500 which is correct so for four five and six the result is this for four that means for five that means and for six that means six this is five and this is six so as you can see both the answer matches 1 8 4 times 0 2 2 5 and 4 times 0 and 2 7 6 times 0 i guess yes these two matches which means the recursive function that we have defined uh, defined actually works fine so the recursive function that means this that we have defined works fine that means we are we have now achieved the goal of this lecture which was to generate a function uh, to write down a function get sum which will return the digit sum of all numbers having at max and digits in their decimal representation in the next lecture which is uh, phase 2 what we will be doing we will be modifying this get sum function to take a parameter alongside with it to return the digit sum of all number from 1 to say some number x not and uh, not this get sum function which returns digit sum of all number from 999 if i want to evaluate give it uh, get some function for 3 354 that means i want digit sum of all number from 1 to 354 so we will modify this get sum function to return the digit sum of all number from 1 to x for a given x right and that function is pretty much same as this function that is why first i needed to explain this function so in the next lecture we'll be develop, uh, developing get some function which actually returns digit sum 
for each number from 1 to some given number x so this was all for this lecture if you have any doubt or query of course you can ask in the comment section thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you